Made it home from the doctor's office. Guys, I'm a little bit nervous for this surgery coming up, but I know. Guys, welcome back to our channel. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Guys, Terry and I are actually headed up to Park City. She has got an orthopedic appointment. The doctor's gonna look at her knee. She's been having some issues with it. And she says she's been having a hard time running or exercising. So, Terry, what's going on? I heard when you like four years ago, and I've honestly just kind of like dealt with it for the last four years, but I told myself as soon as I got to the point where I could no longer walk for exercising, and it was painful to do that, then it was time to go in and see the orthopedic surgeon. So, finally, after four years, I'm at that point. <laughs> I can't walk, it hurts to exercise, so. What knee are we talking about? Is your Finally left knee or your right knee? Looked at my left knee. Your left knee. That is unfortunate. It's uh -uh. very unfortunate. I had knee surgery about six years ago. I actually crashed on a motorcycle here in the neighborhood and uh, tore the MCL off the bone and uh, had to have it reattached, which was not that fun. But uh, I'm having some, some pains in my uh, in that same knee. Maybe we can get a two for one deal today. <laughs> like, hey, could you just have a look at this other one just to see what's going on? And uh, who knows? Both down at the same time. Yeah, maybe we'll get surgery on the exact same day <laughs> holding hands. How cool would that be? I don't know if that's gonna happen, but uh, we're we'll definitely gonna have Terry's knee looked at. Hopefully, he can give us some answers. And then, I guess the big thing from there is trying to decide when we'll have that surgery. Do we want to be down this fall? Do we want to, be, you know, wait till like insurance, you know, resets like January one, so we can like, if there's any other surgeries that we can meet our deductible and you know not have to pay more money than we should have to. So problem is, I gotta do it in enough time to where I can be better for next summer for surfing and boating. There you go. So January, February seems perfect. <laughs> Basically, we're inside those months anyways, right? Like, you're in the house locked up. You might as well, you know, have a bum knee then, is, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll see. One of the uh, nurses just came in, asked her a couple questions, and then just took her back for an x-ray. They'll be bringing her back in here soon. And then I'm sure we'll look at this x-ray, see if there's anything going on that they can see from that. If not, I'm sure they'll probably just order an MRI and uh, have that thing looked at that way. All right, so they take an x-ray of your knee? Several x-rays, different angles. I'm not sure what the x-rays are gonna show them, because I think it's more of a tissue sure, that's, issue. But so they're most likely that's saying they're probably gonna need an MRI, right? Most likely. Yeah, so they did x-rays of a couple of different angles and stuff like that, so I don't know what we'll find out from that, but. So they're just gonna look at those, come back in, and then we're out of here? <laughs> we'll see what the doctor says. Start the one hour drive back home. Yeah. Gotta yeah, use it I differently on that one. With my Interesting. Knee, and yeah. so I felt it pop. Okay. At the gym, but it wasn't like, it didn't like, everything wasn't like, put me to the ground. But you was kinda like, ooh, that felt weird. Yes, I mean, it hurt. Did you get swelling after that? Not really. I felt like maybe there was a little bit, but it wasn't like... It wasn't terrible. I mean, I couldn't go to the gym. Sounds like it felt weird and kind of weird, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I can't but do it. But for anything. several weeks after that, like I couldn't do the gym okay. anymore. So it took me a while to get back into being able to do it. And even now, like I can't do lunges, I can't do squats, mm -hmm. I can't do anything that makes my knee bend in that angle. Yeah. Just, and then it, it'll pop and grind yeah. as I come back up. You are patient. <laughs> <laughs> it's super painful, so I kind of just like. Fly well, back here. Yeah, no. I kind of just gone done more like cardio type stuff. You can like you can do it. Like, this is really not been bad. How's this knee? Is it this doing knee's fine? fine. Yeah. Let's see your band on it. Yeah, it's interesting you said the lunge. Guys, Terry was just looking at this knee thing, like trying to pinpoint exactly where he was pointing before, and she broke it. It's back together. You got it back together. Okay. All right. So knees come apart. They go back together. Right. So my injury is a cartilage tear underneath my kneecap and out here to the side. So underneath right here, right here, cartilage torn right in here. So they'll go in super quick, he said. He says super quick and easy. 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Fix all my cartilage that's torn in there and then should only be about six weeks where I'm down and can't really like fully use it. That's but, not too bad. Yeah, so. It's not too crazy. I don't know. But the doctor told me with my foot surgery that like, I would walk out of the hospital that day and I was on crutches for eight weeks, so. Yeah. <laughs> and they also said because of our insurance, we have a specific type of insurance that we do not have to have an MRI. Yes. Which I will save us a couple of dollars for sure. Doesn't require And some time, I hate MRIs, all the noise and all the, just sitting there drives me crazy. Yeah, so 
we're gonna get something scheduled. We've made it home from the doctor's office. Guys, I'm a little bit nervous for this surgery coming up, but I knew it was gonna have to happen. When I got to the point where I could no longer walk for exercise, I knew it was time to go in and have my knee looked at. I heard it at the gym several years ago. It's just progressively gotten worse and worse and worse, and so I knew it was time to have it checked out, have it looked at, Thankfully, it's nothing super crazy. I haven't like torn a major ligament or anything like that in there. It's mostly just the cartilage has been torn and catching on other parts of my knee. And so when I do lunges or squats or run or things like that, that movement just about sends me through the roof. Downhill skiing, I can't do that anymore. Even surfing, it's kind of getting to the point where it hurts incredibly bad to do that. So it is definitely time to get it fixed and hopefully this will be the problem or this will be the solution to all of the problems. The day has flown by today. It's already time for me to run down and pick up Claire and Carmen. They are about to get out of school. Claire has cheer practice tonight and our crazy week begins with cheer and tumbling practices every single day of the week. Claire Bear is just getting in the car. How was school today? It was so good. So good. Guys, we woke up this morning to freezing cold temperatures. We knew it was gonna cool down, but it feels like winter outside today. It's warmed up a little bit this afternoon, but it holy moly dropped, I don't know how many degrees overnight. And tonight we are in for a hard freeze, meaning we need to cover up all of our plants and things like that that we don't wanna die because it's gonna get freezing cold tonight. It honestly looks really nice outside. Like I didn't put my sweater on. I got, I was like, well, I should've done that. <laughs> you go outside and it's like, oh boy, it's chilly. So how was school? It was good, we had reading buddies today, so. And what is reading buddies? It's where we read with the first graders. Oh, that's cute. What else did you do? Math, science, and uh, reading. Boring stuff. Actually, math is fun. Awesome. Claire just told me that she has a field trip coming up. Where are you guys going? The aquarium. So cool. Oh, the aquarium is fun. Are you excited to go do that? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sensing some sarcasm in your voice. <laughs> you don't like the aquarium? Well, I mean, it's fun, I guess. But... <laughs> It'll be fun. It'll just, be fun to go with all your friends. Yeah, I think it's just the more fun. Well, it's more fun because like I'm skipping school, you know, to go to an aquarium. It's true. You get out of the whole day of school, so way to look at the bright side. Yeah. Crummy bug, it's about time you get here. <laughs> Where have you been? So, I was walking with my friend, and usually she doesn't have to go pick up her little sister, but today she did, so we had to walk from my classroom to the kindergarten classrooms all the way back over here. That's why it took us a little bit. You're lucky you don't ride the bus or you would have missed the bus. My friend rides the bus, she didn't miss it. Oh. <laughs> How was school for you today? Good. You guys do anything fun? Um, yeah. So in science we did this weird project where you took a pine cone and you put it in hot water and see what would happen. And all my all the little like pokey things that stick out started falling off. Really? Yeah. Just because you put it in hot water? Uh-huh. Did everybody's do that? No, just mine did. Oh, that's weird. I was just kind of squishing it to see what would happen and then just all the petals started falling off. So what happened to everybody else's pine cone? They kind of just sat there and the water was starting to turn yellow. Like our water was starting to turn like really yellow. So what was the point of the science project? Just, just to see what would happen. That's interesting. I never would have thought to put a pine cone in hot water. Yeah, and then tomorrow she's gonna give us another pine cone and we're gonna put it in cold water and see what happens. Sounds awesome. And, Report back to us on that one. Yeah, and the hot water, we're leaving it overnight in the water to see what will happen. Probably will just come back to a soggy pine cone. Yeah. That's my bet. <laughs> Alright, sounds like you guys had a great day. Claire Bear, you have cheer practice tonight. I know. Yippee! How are you feeling about cheer? Are you still loving it or not so much? No, I mean, I like it, but then I'm gonna hang out front. So. I know, it definitely takes up a ton of time, but at least you don't have to go right after school today. You get to go home, have a snack, get your homework done, those types of things. Yeah. The kids came home, worked on their homework really quick, went out and were playing with friends for a little while, and they came home with a bag of freeze-dried candy. Girls, what do we got? No, it's um, banana laffy taffy. We got freeze-dried Skittles, um, Skittles, laffy taffies, whatever those are. Caramel. Caramel. Banana laffy taffy. And um, the best ones are high chews, and they have kiwi high chews. Pineapple high chews. And dragon fruit high chews. The best ones are kiwi. The second best ones are dragon fruit and then Really? Yeah. Are there any high chews left? I don't think I've had any of those. I there's this had... one. There's that one. Mm -hmm. Pineapple. You. I'm gonna give it a whirl. The kids are right, the high chews are definitely the best. They're a little bit harder than the other candies, but very tasty. There's a company here in Utah called Harvest Right, and uh, they've got these freeze dryers, and uh, I think they're a few thousand dollars, but uh, some people have been buying them, 
and uh, been freeze dried in just about anything. So freeze dried candy is really good. Guys, Terry and I are still debating on when this knee surgery thing is gonna happen. I thought she would do it like around the holidays. So it's just kind of like, you know, you can relax, take time off. No big deal. She wants to get it done before the holidays. So she has plenty of time to recover so she can get a Christmas tree up. <laughs> this is all based off her getting up her many Christmas trees. So priorities. Gosh. Right, right. <laughs> I would have thought like, you know, get it done middle of November. Then you've got like November break where I'll be around more, right? <laughs> Christmas break, we should take a couple weeks. So it'd be a lot easier on me. However, she's gonna do it sooner. So it's harder on me and she's available to get up her Christmas trees. I haven't decided yet for sure, but. That's kind of the logic. That's the, that the is... thinking that's going on around here tonight. <laughs> that was definitely the first thing that came out of my mind when we left the doctor's office was I have to get it done. I got Christmas trees to put up. Oh my gosh. Guys, but, help me out here. <laughs> if we end up pushing it to November, the problem is, is Thanksgiving is supposed to be at our house. We are hosting this year. So therefore I've got to be able to be up making Thanksgiving I, dinner unless I you're going to do that. I can do it or I can order it somewhere and they can <laughs> deliver it. One of the two, so we can make it happen. There's enough people around, we can make Thanksgiving happen if you have a bum knee. We'll see, I haven't so. decided yet. Guys, we appreciate you watching. We love you and see you guys back here tomorrow.